Is anyone else just like tired of like sunshiny heroines in books? I'm tired. I think my main issue with this character is that all of the sunshiny, you know, bubbly, optimistic ladies are invariably paired up with like grumpy, reticent, mean, rude, repressed men. So the woman ends up having to do all of the coaxing, getting him to open up, getting him to come out of his shell or whatever, you know, basically just doing all of the work in the relationship. And that comes across as desperate to be no offense no offense if that's you <laughs> like this relationship will not happen if the woman does not go out of her way to make it happen my actual favorite type of character in a romance is a like just a sensible normal adult woman paired with a normal sensible adult man and i like for the conflict of our characters to be external so they can just work on you know relationship building and we can focus on their characters and they can have a cute little sweet romance and you see why they like each other and any conflict that arises is external that requires for the romance book to have a plot of some sort which is a struggle these days for some reason but like that's what i like but where are the grumpy girls where are the grumpy women who must be coaxed out of their shells where are the ruthless bitches where are the cold and detached ice queens where are the cackling villainesses the misunderstood shy gals the negative nancies the self-serving and calculating manipulative man-eaters the uncompromising pillars where are the black cats where are the interesting female characters i do you have some books that do have some like interesting female characters top of the list is surrendering to Scylla this is a romance and it's a Greek retelling I think of a sea monster who is an unrepentant destroyer of men like literally <laughs> And I love her. She's great. Scylla is my girl. Then there's Wild Rain by Legend of the Game, Beverly Jenkins. And this features a self-sufficient, uncompromising heroine who knows what she wants and goes after it. I especially loved that she is paired with a very, very, very sweet man. A man who is sweet but not pathetic. I love them. Then there's Remnant Population. This is not a romance. This is a science fiction. But this book had one of the most relatable characters to me I've ever read in my entire life. This is about an older woman. I think she's like in her 70s. And she's on like a failed colony that's like abandoning this alien planet. And all she wants, her main motivation, the only thing she wants in her entire life is just to be left alone on this planet. That's all she wants. And I'm like, oh my god. So relatable. <laughs> that would be such a fun character motivation for like a super villain but like a cartoonish way you know what i mean who is like coming up with all sorts of cartoonish grew like schemes to get rid of everybody on planet earth so she can have it to herself but like it has to be fun it can't be like it can't like mirror like actual real life genocides you know like it has to be like a fun goofy the incredibles you know mega mind grew type i think that would be so much fun for a character motivation and then maybe it turns into a romance i don't know maybe with one of her goons i don't know or like the hero i don't know i'm not writing this book <laughs> and shall machine surrender is also not a role well it kind of is this is a, a science fiction and it features two odd morally gray women i love them then there's hot and badgered and this is a shifter romance which i usually find cringeworthy but this one worked for some reason also the humor in this is not for everybody it was barely for me sometimes i was like oh my god sometimes i would laugh out loud <laughs> anyway our heroine is tall and capable and like you know in charge also like morally gray not as morally dark gray as in and shall machine surrender but like they get up to some shenanigans her and her sisters she's the most sensible out of her sisters her sisters are like crazy <laughs> i also do like who she was paired with she was also paired with like a very just a sweet man so those are my examples and the point of that is to show that like some of these romances do exist there are people out there writing heroines who are not like sunshiny and bubbly and optimistic and you know like annoying the man into a relationship with her <laughs> but those are good examples and i do agree that people are harder on our female grumps than they are on their male counterparts but i would argue that a lot of it is just sloppy character work and writing in general like you cannot write a completely unlikable character and then whine that people find her unlikable i don't know make them fun and also tragic backstories as justification for like antisocial behavior is tired okay do something else i'm sorry people do and can love lady villains when they're fun an example of this is the titular mean girls in mean girls right we all love and enjoy those ladies but they're terrible those little darlings are horrible right but we love them <laughs> another example for me personally is growing up you know growing up in south africa you grew up watching soap operas i used to love all of the villains all of the bad girls <laughs> sammy brooke 
um that white lady from Isitingo. I forgot her name. I'm sorry. You know, you know that lady. <laughs> she was like straight up just evil, but I loved her. <laughs> I can't think of like an evil character from Generations because I think Garabo and Queen just like stole the show. Like I don't even I don't remember the other characters. <laughs> but anyway, do you know what I mean? Like people can love villains. Again, sloppy writing. Is your female main character cold and unfeeling? Does she like empathy, or is she just self-serving? If she's cold and unfeeling and likes empathy. Of course, nobody's gonna like her. Like, what are we doing? You can make her be empathetic, but also be like, I see that, but I'm gonna do this because this suits my purposes better. But isn't that more fun? Have you made your female main character immature and petulant rather than just independent and strong-willed? Is there is a difference? Have you written an arrogant lady rather than a confident one? Have you written somebody who is just uncooperative for the sake of being uncooperative? Or have you written somebody who is wary or distrustful? Have you written somebody who's just really rude with terrible social skills instead of somebody who is maybe a little bit awkward but is still trying or someone who is just straightforward without being mean or someone with tact you know what i mean bitches can be tactful too have you just written a character who just hates people that's dull to read about whether it's a man or a woman you know that's what i mean like i feel like it's just sloppy writing and terrible character work and a lot of it is also just in general the romance readership being more forgiving of dudes of hot men <laughs> speaking of men my other issue is the type of men that our non-sunshiny gals usually get paired with i have an issue with them the shy and reserved women usually get like a womanizing rakish casanova type especially in historical fiction but just in general but when it's in historical fiction i'm like oh my god honey he he is going to give you syphilis or whatever was going around during that era i'm like oh my god reconsider then our uptight and serious gals they usually get like an annoying little mosquito of a man i hate this character i hate this character so much this character might also be a little bit of a casanova or a rake himself but his main character trait is that he's trying to annoy her into into liking him i guess oh, he's always written this character's always written to be so childish you know always doing like stupid little bits and like giving her dumb little nicknames that she invariably hates and then it comes out later like yeah i called you the nickname because you hated it and i wanted to get a reaction out of you or whatever oh my god write something else write something else stop it enough grow up i hate it so much because it's the classic oh he's only being mean to you or annoying you because he likes you you know grow up grow up then our frozen hearted little ice queens usually get any any one of those characters they like to pair her up with like an alpha type and then so that authors can do like a taming of the shrew type of thing i hate this i don't want our shrew to be tamed okay i want the person trying to do the taming to be the one who gets tamed <laughs> and a bigger question for me is like why is this genre that is written by and for women not more subversive why are we still doing all of the work in relationships <laughs> in our fantasies like what is going on and another question i like to ask myself is am i expecting too much am i expecting too much from this genre that i love and respect am i expecting depth from puddles anyway i have six books i want to read that seem like they have some like interesting female heroines you know not your usual grumpy sunshine and i will come back and report back on every book the relationship dynamic is she really an interesting female character or is she just your typical you know sunshiny you know doing all the work kind of girl mm -hmm.